Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be testing out Steve Spangler's science products. If you don't know who he is, I've always known him as being the scientist who does epic experiments on The Ellen Show and other late night shows, and he's very knowledgeable in this area. He has a website dedicated to science and even has products that you can buy that are geared towards classrooms and school mostly. He even have a category for slime. I decided I wanted to try out some of his products and see what they're like. People have been making slime the same way for years, but now there's something new. This new non-glue formula makes a perfect batch every time. The first product that I'm gonna test out is called the Super Slime and it comes in a three pack. It was $19.99 and what attracted me to this specific product is the stated no glue formula. So I was curious to see how this would work. It came with a really nice nicely detailed instruction sheet. It had nice pictures. I chose three colors, blue, pink, and clear. They're all about eight fluid ounces each and it comes with a sealed activator solution bottle. Okay, here's the thing. The fluid that comes out of these bottles are quite interesting because it comes out slowly and it comes out in a thick liquid. For my first time trying this out, I did not follow the instructions because I was a little lazy. I just added the activator solution slowly until it becomes slime. It does work by the way, so this no glue formula thing works. However, I am not a huge fan of the consistency just because it doesn't stretch well, as in it breaks easily if you stretch it too fast. It is a little bit jiggly, has a little bounce to it, which I didn't mind because I do like jiggly slimes. So for round two, I'm actually going to follow the instructions because I probably should. It stated that I should measure out one ounce of this super slime and add one teaspoon of the solution and stir for a whole minute or until it forms into slime. And this is what I got. This one is not any better than the first time that I tried it. It was still the same texture and consistency. So I don't think following the instructions really mattered. It also was the same with the clear one, although this one stretched a bit better than the blue and pink one. So now that I said that the instructions probably didn't matter, I still wanted to try it again. So for round three, I decided to add a lot more of the super slime. I even tried to mix the colors. It changed color, changed to purple because blue and pink mix purple, but the consistency is still the same thing. So it doesn't matter how much of the super slime you add, it's still gonna be the same consistency throughout. Here's the catch. If I let this sit out and lay it flat out on the table, it does end up st stretching a lot better than playing with it as soon as it's made. Other than that, my overthoughts on this product is that it works. It's cool because it doesn't require glue, but technically it does have PVA. What I found interesting was the fact that it's not PVA powder, it's diluted PVA, I think, and it also has other ingredients that make it last longer. Moving on to product number two. This one is called Spangler's String Slime and this was $19.99. I picked clear. This contains no glue, no PVA, and no borax. It gives you one liter, which is a lot, plenty to make for a lot of people, an empty squirt bottle, activator, and a booklet with step-by-step -step instructions, which I will follow by the way this time because I do not want to mess this up. So it says to add one cup of water and dissolve one teaspoon of the borax. I mean, not borax! Oh my gosh! It's not borax. I, I keep thinking it's, but it's not borax. It looks like pebbles, actually. But it says to dissolve one teaspoon. Mini pebbles. The string slime liquids are sealed, so that's awesome. It says to fill up the squirt bottle because this makes it easier to, I guess, squirt. 
So the science here is, as soon as this string slime liquid touches the activator, it forms this worm, this string slime worm thing. At first glance, I was a little creeped out, but I thought this is pretty dang cool because the fact that it's like instant, the instant it touches the liquid, I'm about to be all educational on you guys and quote exactly what it says from the booklet. So how does this work? This chemical reaction made a new solid substance or the string by combining the two liquids. And the scientific name for this is called sodium alginate. It's full of very long molecules called polymers. Polymers are made by linking gazillions of smaller identical molecules together. And that's basically what this is. So this there you go, that's the size of it. <laughs> things that you can do with this is you can squish this and you can rip the string. It's actually quite delicate. If you do end up squishing a lot of them, you can put it back into the solution and it will form a new solid substance again. For the last product, this one is quite similar to the previous product, except this is color changing. So it comes with one liter, just like the. Oh, my voice! Oh, what happened? I'm back, we're good. So it comes with one liter of the string slime liquid. It also comes with a spoon that measures out exactly one teaspoon. So I thought that was quite convenient even though it doesn't really matter because I already have measurement spoons at home. But I'm not sure why the previous product didn't contain that. But anyways, I'm just doing the same thing where I'm dissolving the activator into a cup of water except they did request warm water because this activates the color changing feature. But I think I let the solution sit out for too long because I made the solution first and then I poured some of the liquid. I filled up the squirt bottle, so that took a little bit of time. So the color changing didn't happen show up here. In order to activate the color changing part of this, I had to make a separate container of cold water and dip this into that. That's when you can notice the color change, which I thought was so fascinating. Oh my gosh, when you look at that, it looks just looks so creepy and weird, but so cool at the same time. But anyways, this is what color changing string slime looks like and it works. And that is the end to this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye!